I'm Fran Boyle and I'm a medical oncologist at the MATA Hospital in Sydney and I also work at the University of Sydney in a research and teaching role. Uh, the research areas I'm interested in are clinical trials of new anti-cancer drugs, uh, supportive care strategies and also improving communication between doctors and patients. I've been looking after women with secondary breast cancer for 20 years now and in that time I've seen the most amazing changes. Uh, it used to be all the one disease and clearly it's not. We treat people with HER2 positive disease completely differently to people with hormonal uh, breast cancer. And we develop drugs for different kinds of breast cancer, not just for people with metastases. So the things that have changed are that people live a lot longer, that their quality of life is better, that they're able to fulfill their goals, to travel and to do things with their families in ways that we would never have imagined. Uh, when I first started treating secondary breast cancer. And yet the frustration is we're not there yet. There are still very few people who, you know, get out of treatment, finish, go on to a normal life. And I think that is going to increase with time. I think we are going to see people cured of this disease, hopefully in my working lifetime. But in the meantime, we've transformed a rapidly fatal disease into a disease where mostly people can live well provided they have good support from a treatment team and uh, getting good support from their families. One of the things that's very different between metastatic breast cancer and early breast cancer is that it's not a one-off treatment. Uh, tr one treatment will be used as long as it's being effective and then women will switch to something else and then to something else, a little bit like stepping stones uh, along a pathway. And that challenge of thinking, am I going to be on continuous treatment, I think is something quite confronting uh, at the beginning. So our job is to make the decisions about moving from one treatment to another as um, untraumatic as possible, uh, to try and make those decisions uh, when the woman's not sick, uh, when we see a change on a scan or in a blood test, and to, to make that switch at a time when we've got you know, plenty of time to think about it.